Maestro has launched PSLV C60 with SpeedX and innovative payloads from Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. First stage performance was normal. SpeedX mission is a cost-effective technology demonstrator mission for the demonstration of the in-space docking using two small spacecrafts launched by PSLV. The primary objective of the SpeedX mission is to develop and demonstrate the technology needed for rendezvous, docking and undocking of two small spacecrafts in a low Earth circular orbit. Through this mission, India is marching towards becoming the fourth country in the world to have space docking technology. My colleague Brian is with us on the broadcast to give us more news. Brian, of course, good news. Uh, last night at 9.58, good way of also ending the year with of course uh, ISRO uh, launching SpeedX and uh, give us the details on how it went. Uh, well, uh, Savri, definitely now even ISRO chairman S. Sumnath also announced uh, the successful launch of PSLE C60 for the space, uh, you know, SpeedX or other mission stating that the rocket has, you know, placed the satellite in the correct 475 kilometer, uh, you know, circular orbit and this is just one part of the mission. Very importantly also, the uh, you know the you know Indian space uh, research organization the organization's space docking experiment uh, carried aboard the very you know PSLV rocket and was launched from the Shatish Bhavan uh, space center in Sri Harikota and even the SpaceX also is a cost effective technology demonstrator that aims at showcasing in space docking cap uh, capabilities using two small aircraft. Now he also rather sooner also you know congratulated the PSLV uh, team and the SpaceX project members describing it as an innovative novel and a cost effective docking demonstration uh, mission uh, which involves two satellite bus architectures and even the mission, uh, mission's primary objective is very important we need to understand now is to develop and demonstrate the technology that is required for the rendezvous docking and even undocking of uh, two small aircraft that is the edx uh, 01 that is the chaser and an edx uh, sbx sorry rather 02 target in a low um, you know earth uh, circular object and even to the fact that the SpaceX aircraft were developed by the URO satellite center uh, with contribution with from other uh, ISRO centers, including the very VSSC and uh, LPSC and others as well. And it also highlighted the mission's complexity, noting that its small size and mass, uh, you know, demand greater precision for docking maneuvers compared to larger uh, spacecraft. And this mission also serves as a, you know, um, as a pursuit also for autonomous docking technology essential for future lunar missions such as Chandrayaan-4, which will operate without GNSS support from Earth as well. Savi. Right, absolutely. Brian, stay on with us. Uh, in fact, let's listen in to what the chairman of ISRO S. Somnath has said about SpeedX project. And let's also listen in to what the director has said. See, Chandrayaan-4 has uh, multiple modules. It has uh, five modules. And these modules are to be launched uh, in different times uh, as integrated two separate modules. So they have to go to orbit and then get docked. And they have to get docked in, in Earth orbit as well as in Moon orbit. So docking is essential for Chandrayaan-4. Chandrayaan-4 is, is a mission to go to Moon, land there, come back and re reach Earth with a, uh, uh, whatever you can get from Moon surface. So it requires various connections to happen in orbit. So this requires again docking. So this is one of the proving ground for Chandrayaan-4. Now, docking will docking will start from tomorrow onwards. Many processes will happen, but final docking will take place possibly by 7th of January. Yeah, earlier, uh, it is one of the experiment what we are going to prove on orbit, uh, which is going to be really going to useful for the future assignments or uh, project assigned to us, like our uh, Bharati Antrik Station, there is nothing but the Indian Space Station, and the Chandrayaan 4 mission, which is going to be a sample return mission. So due to this uh, two complex and uh, challenging uh, project, this ducking uh, mechanism is becoming an inevitable requirement. Uh, uh, one is, again, for a sample return mission, we need to uh, uh, bring the sample, means we need to send one spacecraft from here, it will talk to the spacecraft which is returning from moon and bring the samples from the, uh, to the Earth. So that way docking is a mandatory. Again, for a human space missions also, when you want to attach to an international space station, uh, humans should pass through this uh, ducking mechanism, so that way it will be a technology demonstrator. Well, meanwhile, some Indian scientists have also reacted to the launch. Listen in. When we are just bidding farewell to 2024, ISRO, our Indian Space Research Organization, 
is launching in another one hour uh, the PSLV C60, which is a very important technology demonstrator to see how the docking technology, orbital docking, can be achieved. So that is the primary mission. So in which there are two primary payloads, which will be the target and chaser, the satellites. Then there will be also 24 other payloads, among which Amity University is sending a very important biological payload, which is the callus of a plant, which is known as spinach. And this, how does it behave in the low gravity or hypogravity environment? Today, ISRO is going to launch uh, a spacecraft. In a shortly, we called it Spidex. And uh, in elaboration, it is a space docking experiment. So today will be the launching, uh, where there will be two spacecraft will be separated in an orbit, a circular orbit around Earth. They will be kept apart around 20 kilometers, and gradually, after a few days, they will become, they will be brought closer and closer from 20 kilometers. Initially, it will come to 5 kilometers, then 1 kilometer, then 500 meters, and uh, finally, they will join together. This is uh, an experiment which uh, India has never done before. This the, for the first time we are going to duck two units in, on the space. So the, uh, if it's, uh, uh, we succeed in that, we'll become the fourth nation in the world after Russia, China, and uh, USA. Well, more on that front. After the successful launch of PSLV C-60 satellite, Union Minister of State Dr. Jitendra Singh has tweeted and said that he is privileged about to be associated with the Department of Space at a time when Team ISRO mesmerizes the world with global wonders. One after the other, India becomes the fourth to join the Select League of Nations to seek space docking through its own indigenously developed Bharatiya docking system. My colleague Brian is still with us on the broadcast. Brian, take our viewers to what it is uh, that Dr. Jitendra Singh has said. He's, of course, lauded ISRO for the one after the other, uh, you know, of course, successes that we've seen in 2024. Well, definitely now uh, talking about, you know, what, uh, you know, Jitendra Singh also clearly said the union minister, which, where he shared his excitement on uh, Platform X, also stating that it is a privilege to be associated with the de uh, Department of Space at a time when Team Isro mesmerizes the world with global workers and one after the other, India becomes the fourth nation to join the Select League, pursuing, uh, you know, space docking, uh, you know, and even through its own indigenous developed Bharatiya docking system as well, and it is a proud moment, uh, you know, for all the Indians, and even it is designed as a stepping stone also, towards Israel's goal also of establishing its own space station by 2035. The 44.5 meter tall PSLV carried two 222 kg spacecraft, uh, which is the uh, which is spacecraft A and B, which is aimed also at advancing capabilities in space docking system and satellite servicing and even uh, interplanetary missions also. And very importantly, the lift off also, which was scheduled uh, for 9.58 yesterday was delayed to 10 with no official explanation also provided for the reschedule. But yes, in addition to the SpeedX mission, also Israel configured the rocket's fourth stage PS4 as the PSLV orbital experimental module 4. Also, the stage will also deploy 24 small payloads, the 14 from Israel and 10 from Academy Institution, into various orbits also over a span of 90 minutes after the launch. And my Mastering the space docking technology, ISRO also rather aims to enhance its operational uh, flexibility and expand its mission capabilities, paving the way for more ambitious endeavors in future as well. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.